some new additions to our family, as you can see. I'm just doing this to keep them round as they'll go off and do their own thing. This is Nancy. This one's a road rock, she's called Margaret. This fabulous grey one is called Lillian. And this little speckled cuckoo moran is called Maureen. I named them after my aunties. This is their favourite treat, the mealy worms. I've always wanted hens and uh, Kenny was never very keen. Anyway, when uh, the coronavirus kicked off, we decided it was probably as good a time as any to get some just in case. Um, I had a terrible job getting some. It was the week before lockdown and um, I had to phone and phone and phone and email and text. I don't know how many people um, to get chicks and nobody had any, nobody. Eventually I found um, this place which is called Weather Riggs Animal Rescue Centre. It's in Barnard Castle in County Durham. I'd recommend it if anybody lives near there. Um, the chap called Terry Bowes was really great. He helped us out um, and showed us all the different hens, told us all about the different breeds, what they would lay like and everything. Um, and so we came away with these four. Initially, we did it in such a rush, we didn't have any way for them to stay, so we put them in the greenhouse, which was fine because it was in mid-March, it wasn't hot. And uh, Kenny had to quickly build a, a hen house and a hen run for them. It's at, just at the bottom of the garden. We can't keep livestock at the allotment, it's just one of the rules. But it's better anyway, having them here. Kenny has to get up very early to let them out, and uh, you wouldn't want to be going up to the allotment at that time. Hello Nancy. Nancy's the team one. Lillian's not team. <laughs> oh, it's not too bad. Come on. Sometimes they'll come and sit on your shoulder. Yes, you're nice, aren't you? So we got them, initially we were going to get um, hens that were on the point of lay but the man at the rescue centre advised us because we'd never had hens before to get younger ones about eight weeks old just so that we could get used to them etc. Um, and we took his advice and it was good advice because uh, when they're big like Lily and all, it's scary really, and they peck hard. Um, but now they're laying, they're all laying, we waited until May for them to start laying and um, it was earlier than I expected and now we're getting, we're getting four eggs a day more or less, it's great, getting your own fresh eggs, there's nothing like it, with them being young hens we're getting quite a lot of doublers, double yolks, so that's great, massive egg yesterday, I wish we videoed it, it was the size of my hand, poor hen, whoever did it, um, and I'll show you the little feeding station that we made and their hen house. And this is the hen run. I don't know how much you can see with this shot. It's just up against the back corner of our fence. And uh, we've just used wire mesh and it's over the top and everything. We have got foxes in this street, so we have to be a bit careful. I'll show you the feeding station now. So this is the little feeding station that Kenny made. Um, we got the idea off um, Jason from Sow the Lamb. It's just um, a piece of drain pipe with the gut, like guttering, with the, um, the little plastic supports that come with it. Kenny just happened to have it in the garage. <coughs> Initially we were just feeding them on a plate on the ground and um, it wasn't very good because they were just jumping on it and scratching it everywhere and we couldn't tell how much they'd eaten. And there was seed all over the ground which we didn't want for vermin um, so 
we made this and it's been really good it's uh, you can see what they've eaten you can see how much they've got left or nothing as the case might be and it keeps it all off the ground they don't they, don't, they can't scratch it out and um, so that's perfect I'd recommend doing that and then um, he's just put some plastic corrugated sheeting up, down the back and there just to protect it from the rain so it doesn't get soaked and wet we didn't think of that initially but we had all that horrendous rain over the past two weeks masses of it much needed but um yeah that, that's working really well just gonna peck my eyes out there this is the hen house um it's just basically a box with a sloping roof and a, and a roosting bar inside and some crates for them to lay the eggs in uh, it's got it's got a ramp that levers up and down with some bolts on. You shut that up at night, it stays open during the day so they can get in to lay their eggs. Lillian's in there now, which has been very disturbed with us. She can't get it out. I'll show you around the other side and show you what it's like. So this is the hen house from the other side, outside of the pen. Uh, as you see, it's just got the slope roof and put plastic on the top of that because it, it was leaking when all that rain came down. We've just put some plastic on the front just to stop the leaking. I don't know whether that'll stay on. And there's another door here which is double hinged so that we can get in without um, going into the pen if we want to collect the eggs. I'll show you what it's like inside now. So this is the inside, um, as you can see, oh, we've got two on the nesting box. Lillian, poor thing, can't get any piece to lay her egg this morning. We've got two nesting boxes, but they'll only use one. And then if you pan round, we've got the little roosting bar for them, which works great. Um, on the floor of the pen, we have just put um, like mesh, metal mesh stuff. It's not chicken wire. Um, it was really the reason I did that was again I was doing what some of the Americans seem to do on like just in roads and that they put mesh on the bottom so the chicken poop can fall through because I wanted to save that for my allotment obviously and for the compost heap um, anyway it wasn't going to be that practical to get it from underneath so what we do is we just put sheets of cardboard down and pull it out every day and just put the poop on the compost heap Nancy, shut up! And then that means the poop stays nice and clean because we clean it every day. So there you go, it's like a palace tower that they're trying to escape. Oh, this is the outside of the uh, hen run, like there's the hen house. There's the hen run. It's a good, great size for four hens. Nancy's so noisy. Um, we've kept all the trees and they're just going to all grow through eventually, it'll look really nice. So yeah, that's us, we've got hens now, yay!